In the first video of this lesson, the topic of assertions was introduced, and we took a look at Node's assert functionality. We were able to use the tool for some basic assertions, validating the page title and URL, but even doing that required some extra code. To help with our needs, we're going to look at switching to a tool called Chai. Chai is an assertion library that, like Node's assert library, provides a utility to compare expected and actual values in code. Chai provides two distinct benefits. First, there are a wider range of assertions available in Chai. Later in this video, we'll look at using the include assertion to save a line of code in our tests. Chai also provides three different assertion styles for us to choose from. These styles allow us to write tests in a format that fits our preferences better. In the next video, we'll look at the should and expect styles. For this video though, we'll stick with the standard assert format. Getting set up with Chai is a fairly simple process. All we have to do is run npm install chai save dev. This installs chai from npm and makes it available in our test script. As I mentioned, chai offers three flavors of assertions, but all three essentially do the same thing. They're all a different language for saying the same idea. What a result should or shouldn't be. Chai offers the trio of styles because humans are fickle and have preferences that are often just a personal thing. By providing three interfaces, you're able to choose the one you're most comfortable with. The first format we'll look at will feel familiar. Similar to Note's assert style, Chai has an assert style as well. While their names are the same, there are some differences between the two libraries. The main one is that Chai's version offers a much wider range of available assertions. Perusing through the API page, you'll notice a plethora of pronouncements to proclaim. Alliteration aside, we'll start off by loading the library in pretty much the same way as before, the only difference being we require chai, then get the utility from the returned object. Next, we need to update our assertions. The first two checks actually stay the same. Assert.equal is the same format for both chai and the base node library. OK is slightly different though. Chai uses is OK instead of OK. Let's switch over to that real quick. With our updates, let's run our tests again to ensure everything passes. Looks good. I mentioned that Chai offers more assertions than Node's assert options, and we can take advantage of that right now. Currently, we rely on two lines of JavaScript to make one assertion. The first line does the actual work, and the second line just asserts that it's true. Well, we can simplify this thanks to Chai having this include assertion built in. There are at least two benefits to this. First, it's one less line of code to have to write. Second, the default error message when the assertion fails will be much more useful than false does not equal true. Using the include assertion, we can pass in the needle, otherwise known as the expected value, and the haystack, which is the result we'll be looking in. Let's run our test just to make sure we've got everything right. Looks good. Now let's break our assertion to give you an idea of what the error message will look like. After running our test again, you can see the friendlier output. No more guessing what false does not equal true means. That's it for this video. Next up, we'll try out the should and expect format to give our test a more sentence-like assertion style. 